in this tutorial i will show you step by step how you can convert a, any html template into any wordpress theme so first of all you have to choose a html template for conversion here i have chosen a responsive here so template for conversion and uh, and this is our HTML template and it looks like this okay and this is a responsive HTML3 template and I will convert it into a WordPress theme okay now go for the step to create a folder in WordPress theme folder and uh, or this go to drive C Jam S Docs WordPress folder WP content team and create the folder for your new WordPress team. Suppose my team name is Saloon. Okay. Now go for the step three. Create a screenshot image of your theme and save as screenshot.png file and store it in your theme folder. I have already created my screenshot, so I will keep the file in the theme folder. I will save. Okay, our screenshot looks like this, and this is the uh, some part of my HTML font page. Okay, now go for the step four. Create the necessary files. So first of all, I create, I will create index.php. Alone. WordPress content theme and so the folder is empty now so our password will be index.php the second file will be data.php Third file will be footer.php. Fourth file will be function.php. First, the name will be functions, not function. Okay, and one CSS file. Style dot CSS file. Okay, our five required files are created. Now go for step five. Copy all CSS, JS images and other necessary folder of your HTML template to your theme folder. So if I open my HTML template folder then there are five folders so I will copy all these folders and save it to my theme folder. This is my theme folder where I have created six files and now paste this folder. Okay, now go for step 6. Identify the header, footer and body part of your template. If you uh, see the template, then this one, the top menu and slider is the header part, this is the body part and this is the footer part. Okay, now Open this 
index.html file from the editor which is under theme yes, you know, and index.html so first copy the header section with slider Okay, copy this first before the body tag. Copy and paste it in header.php. Okay, in the same way, copy the body first to the footer section. Okay, this is the footer of the template. So I will copy this first and save it to in this page. Okay. Now, now copy the footer section and save it to your footer page. Okay. Now save all these three files. And go for next step. Next step is step seven. Call the get header function from index top to include the code of header dot php. So I will add this code before the body text and. Now call the get underscore footer function uh, in the below of index.php file. Okay, this will call uh, or include the code of footer.php. Now save the file and go for next step and uh, activate your trim from admin panel. Okay. This is our admin panel. Now go to appearance and themes. And this is our created new theme. Activate it. The theme is activated. Now load the prompt. Oh, there is no CSS, no bootstrap, and no JavaScript. Our original theme is look like this but after activating it looks like this that means your css link and javascript links are missing so next step is to correct the link to do this i will start from header.php so go to header.php and find out all css link of your template there are many CSS here, so to link this, you have to call a PHP function, uh, WordPress function, and the name of the function is get template GT URI. This method or function uh, read the current themes root directory. So I will add this here. In the similar way, you have to replace all the links of your CSS using this method to get the link proper. So I have already uh, changed or created the link of all for all my CSS. So I will just copy this code and paste in my header section to get our link all CSS of this template. 
here you can see all the impilers linked and you have to add slash before each folder to link properly okay now fuse is linked now go for the next step link all javascript files properly same method is used here to link the javascript file so i will uh, replace the code in my all javascript links which is um, in this of php files body section these are all javascript so link all these files by the WordPress method. Here you can see uh, same method is used here and slash is added before each JS folder. Now save the file and go for the next step image link. Before starting step 12 I will run the template again to check it is getting CSS and JavaScript or not. The CSS and JavaScript is working but our image is missing here. So how to correct the image link? Same method will be used to correct the image link. So go to here and uh, copy the method and find out your rumors link in every section. There are two slide rumors. So add this here. First one is this. Images. In the same way, add the method here. Do not the enter properly, otherwise it will not work. And now check the template again. Here you can see our two template images are linked. In the same way there was another image and here I will add this and these are in our body purse. And uh, here is one. And uh, here is another one. Okay, now refresh. You can see our what this team is look like our original HTML template. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can make this menu part dynamic or link with your WordPress menu and how to replace this part using WordPress post and uh, making this uh, Dynamic using visit. Thanks for watching.